Hi, thanks for joining me. What I want to take a look at today in this video is the reduced capacity of an open delta system. We're going to focus on the secondary of this configuration where if I lose one of these single phase transformers, uh, I lose one of those, um, well, we lose one of those single phase transformers. Uh, we end up with a reduced capacity. There's a couple numbers that you need to know. First of all is 57.7%. The second number is 86.6%. And we're going to discuss how we end up with those. We're going to do a calculation and show how we end up with those percentages. So first of all, let's look at the secondary. We know that we have a 240 volt. This is a 600 step down to 240 volt delta system. Uh, it's a 30 kVA transformer, which means it has 30 kVA of output, rated output, when all three of our phases or our transformers are connected. However, when we lose one of these phases, let's figure out first what our rated current, our phase current, and our line current are. So if we look at each individual phase, we have 10,000 VA divided by our phase voltage of 240 volts, which gives us, we should see uh, 16, no, that's our primary. We don't worry about our primary right now. We're going to look at about 41.67 amps phase current. There's 41.67 amps. Uh, let's go that drone beam. Draw that going the other way. Okay. Uh, delta connection, it also means that my I line is equal to 41.67 times root 3. I line equals, we should see uh, around 72.17 amps. Okay. That's under nominal circumstances with all three of our transformers connected in. However, what happens when we lose one of those windings? Okay. Each one of these windings is still rated at 10,000 VA. Okay. And it has still 240 volts induced into the secondary side of it, which still gives us a phase current, if we do the same calculation, of 41.67 amps. But Previously, when we had that third leg connected in there, we had, if this was line A, it was composed of, well, we had, uh, we'll go B, C, A up here. We had A to B plus A to C, okay? When we lose this A to C leg or our C to A leg, what ends up happening is we don't have that combination of those two currents anymore. All we have is 41.67 amps. So what happens is that our line current, our I line becomes equal to our I phase. Now if we carry that through to calculate out what the output of our transformer now is, if I look at this and I say that the phase, if I say uh, we're going to use our S total calculation here. S total is equal to E line times I line times root 3, or in this case, S total is equal to our 240 volts, that didn't change, times now our line current of 41.67 amps times root 3. We end up with an S total now of about 17,321.8 VA. That is now the output of this transformer uh, with its rated current. Okay, now let's look at those numbers. Originally, these three phases, this was a 30,000 VA output. And if we look at this number, 17,321.8 divided by our original three 10 kVA transformers of 30,000, we end up at 0.577 or 57.7%. There's our first percentage, okay? That's when we compare it to those three coils. What they would have originally put out compared to what they're putting out now is reduced to 57.7% of what it originally was. If we just focus on the two coils, we can see if I have 10 kVA or 10,000 VA and another 10,000 VA, what they should be able to put out is 20,000 VA. But again, because we have this, this connection in open delta, what we see is this 17,321.8 compared to what they should be able to put out of 20,000 gives us 0.866 or 
or 86.6% of reduced capacity of what those two normally would give out. Okay, another quick way to quickly calculate those out. If I have, uh, we'll say uh, three transformers and I want to know what they're going to be in open delta, I can divide it by root three. Gives us 57.7%. And if I start with two transformer, or these two coils, and I divide it by root three, I end up with 0.866, or 86.6%. Sorry, get rid of that. Okay, uh, hopefully this has helped. Okay, key thing to remember about open delta, when we do lose that, that third transformer, we reduce our overall capacity by 57, or to 57.7%. Uh, and we reduce our capacity of the two down to 86.6% of what they normally would be. Again, hopefully this has helped. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.